getting ready, November 16th. All right, man, that's the queen goddamn Kelly Swanson of the PBC, uh, PR, the publicist of uh, uh, Floyd Mayweather and many other athletes. But I want to go into this video and speak about how this dude barbershop conversation has allowed uh, a white woman who has control of media relations with the organization better known as Premier Boxing League, the PBC, and now that his credentials have been taken away for being at their events, acting like a plum fucking idiot, and getting his ass exiled from the damn event and losing his fucking mind. Now, a white woman who went about, um, you know, creating this pain in his life, but the place that he knows that he belongs in, he knew to keep his fucking mouth shut like the white woman told him. We want to hear your black stories. And from there, since she didn't want to hear his black stories, he turned his stories into attacks on black folks. God damn how program a woodierified Negro can be that this woman can direct his mind into going back into what has been accustomed and what has been programmed to be. And with the accountability group who doesn't look nothing like him, they may look like his palm, but the friends that he associates himself with when he needs to be, uh, you know, a, a troubleshot. Because he is programmed, so there's troubleshooting that he has to go through. So the troubleshooting programs that they have to put him through and then send him back on to a show to get to uh, go about this new course of shit. And that's to shoot ignorance at black folks. And it's the same thing that Andre Ward spoke about. And so I put the video up about Andre Ward exposing this opportunistic fraud that he is. And it points back to where. He doesn't have anything to say about Kelly Swanson. Why is that? If this is the woman who created that, why isn't he speaking about her? And he's spoken about many people within this sport who have not, who, do, who aren't black, that have set this dude back. Being Golden Boy, a white PR lady, or, or Latina a PR lady, kicking his ass out, taking credentials. He has nothing to say about that. Bob Arum attempting to destroy him and railroad him. There's nothing to say about that. And it's mighty, 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 mighty uh, um, coincidental of the reasoning behind him not having anything to say ill about them, but targeting regardless of what walks of life a black person comes from. This Negro sits on here in bitter attempts to think he's going to destroy him. Like, you, you, you're not going nowhere. With the ill shit you state about uh, black folks, it ain't position you nowhere. No one listens to you. I think it's just become a sideshow and a laughing joke, and something to give me more to keep my foot on this Negro's neck and uh, just clowning him, not wishing any ills on him. I don't do that type of shit. He's still a black brother, uh, just a lost one, a Whittier raised one. So I understand. I overstand the issues with this Negro. He ain't the only Negro with issues. But he's the one with the worst. But uh, that's all I got on this one. Kelly Swanson, salute to you for seeing this and for taking the corrective actions of counseling this fool out. And with this corrective actions, it's made an incorrect Negro lose his damn mind. But that's all I got. Enjoy boxing. Peace.